Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game tutorial. Today we tackle the floor in both the game scene, the hub scene, and uh, the menu scene. So this one, as you can tell, we do it inside of here as well. So we do a little bit of UVs, really fast UVs. We do it to have uh, two different materials, so one for the wall and also one for the floor. Now, as you can tell, those are placeholder stuff, but, um, you know, I just don't want to take you through the whole trying to make art in Photoshop that I'll eventually delete because it's really ugly. So... Uh, we end up with something like that, at least the UV map is right, and uh, we can just start applying some texture to that if you do have some. And inside of the game, it looks something like that, which is just cool. And, um, you know, like the plane is uh, is big enough, so it actually hits a skybox, and I, I actually like that effect quite a lot. And that's pretty much what we do today, guys, so without further ado, let's actually get started. Hey guys, today we're going to be tackling the floor in both this scene and also the game scene, so we're going to do something really um, really simple. Again, I'll be using placeholder art because I realize that this is going a little bit too far in terms of art because I'm making art that I don't really want to uh, continue in the later run, but at least we're placing stuff and we're just, you know, integrating that art. So um, I will show you what I'll be using as a floor in a second. It is going to be a red texture which is definitely not in the right color palette, but uh, I'm going to be using a red grid just like this. I also have a purple one I could use. Let me just bring that in here. And those are just basically just grids like that. Now, obviously, if you want to be making your um, your own texture, you should actually just do that and uh, put it on these. But we have a little bit of UV to do today. We also have a little bit of, um, well, fixing that little edge in the middle that annoys me quite a lot, this thing. We're going to be fixing that really soon. So let's just get started and let's actually just create a new um, artwork material. This is going to be say purple floor or let's just call it floor. And let's also create another one called wall. And now check out what we are going to do. We're going to go under the material, find say a color for the color of the wall. Let's, let's put red on the wall and let's put a uh, purple for the floor. So here we go. But if we just go ahead and just drag that here, that's how it's going to look like. Now, um, this is not cool, and the reason is, is because if you do have a real texture going on, well, you won't really see it, because this one, as you can tell, has grid, but uh, all our UVs are mashed up in a single piece here, and it really looks bad. Plus, if we're trying to apply the wall here, it also changes the floor, which is obviously something we do not want. So we are going to go ahead and just start working on that a little bit, and uh, I'm going to open up Blender. So, back in my game folder, go under Model, open up the hub scene. And this is where we just put our mess. I'm just going to move all of these quickly in the middle. Like so. For no particular reason, to be honest. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to hit Alt-H to unhide what we've done in the past. Now, I think if I do Shift-H, I hide everything but what I've selected. But uh, apparently the share poster is still there, so I'll be, I'll be um, selecting that share poster and then pressing H. And we end up with something like this. So um, this still has the vertex, not the vertex, but the modifier on it. And what we're going to be doing is do clipping. We're going to make sure to enable clipping, that's for the uh, mirror modifier. Now, the middle part is pretty much just stuck together. I don't know if we can tell the difference if we just go up really close, remove the clipping. No, we can't because I think it's already done. Okay, so having that done, I'll go ahead and just go in edit mode. If I can find my mesh. Where is my mesh? Okay, Alt H to unhide. And we're going to be selecting the middle edge here with a Alt click, then press X and dissolve the edge. Same thing for the top side. Dissolve edge. And now they're pretty much just gone. So we can go back to actually just um, having a really clean mesh. Actually, this is great. Okay. The uh, next thing we're going to do is actually define what is a wall and what is not a wall. And how should we go about doing this? I think we have to go here under the material. And we're going to be creating a new material. So click on new. We're going to be calling this, um, if we can actually change the name, yeah, let's call that floor. We're also going to be creating one called wall. And um, this one is just going to be right here. So here is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking every single pieces face pieces that are going to be on the floor, so pretty much everything that is not these things, and also, um, I don't know what to do with the roof actually. Let's remove it of this, 
So let's take all of this part, then hit Assign when having floor selected. Now let's go on the wall and do the exact same thing but for all the other faces. Then we assign this and, oh sorry I was still on the, on the floor, okay let me assign that to the wall and let's see if we can actually have this working. So um, with almost nothing selected I'll go on floor, hit select and it pretty much takes all the floor faces. Now same thing for the wall and it does uh, take the rest so that's good. And now they're split in two different materials. Alright, if we save this and we go over to the export, we export that back inside of Unity in our asset folder, artwork, obscene. We shall now we shall now have the option to have um, two different material going on. So where is our hub scene right here? And uh, we can actually apply the floor to the floor and the wall to the rest of the thing. And let's actually add these two here as walls. I totally forgot about those. So actually these four, click on wall, assign, save, and if we just go back, overwrite what we had a second ago, you're going to see that they're now included. Okay, so at least now we have some color splitting going on, but we still can't see the shape, we still can't see the UV just well. So here is what I plan on doing, is um, I'm going to go right here and actually do the UV for these and they're going to be so simple. Alright, so I'm going to be bringing a new window in here, pressing N to remove that, pressing T to remove that, and we're going to be using this window here as a uh, UV window. And now we can move on to all these pieces of here, so including the staircase, I'm going to do U, unwrap, and um, is that going to work? This could actually work if we just scale it the same as the other one, so maybe something like that, and we just place it this way. So this could actually work. Hit save on that and we're going to move on to the walls. Walls are fairly simple so we're going to be taking these two, press U, unwrap, that's fine. These two walls, press U, unwrap, same thing and then for the roof. And um, did we do these? I think we did. Let's just make sure. And there we go. So we end up with something like that. Um, now if we just press save and we export this back inside of our game, everything, technically everything should be working just fine. And here we go, isn't that wonderful? Now just assume you had the um, good looking texture, you'd get a nice, really nice board like that. And um, it actually just, you know, it, those are seamless textures so they fit perfectly if you just keep on going. You could be taking this hub scene and just duplicating it and, uh, you know, it'd work. There you go. Alright, so that's definitely not something I plan on doing. Well, it could look cool if we had like a mirror. I don't know. It's really up to you guys. But um, that's pretty much what we do for the floor here, and that is really simple stuff. Now, um, usually the UVs on Unity, they're already done if you just import like a plane or something like that. So we don't really need to do anything else if we want to do it for the game scene. All we really have to do is just make sure we go inside of the game, create a new plane, uh, and just make sure it's placed properly and also add of course the floor material to it if you're going to be using that for you know the the outside floor and um, I think that's pretty much it actually but you should be creating another texture for that another like outside floor texture and as far as the size goes in the game let's go check out how it looks inside of the game so that's definitely too small what if we multiply that by 10 Mm, that's too big, but um, as you can tell, it would be nice if it actually hits the skybox. So I'm hitting the skybox with about 4.5 on all axis. So that could be cool. Plus then you get to rotate around and you get that kind of result. So we're now like more in a sandbox and I really do enjoy that feeling. And uh, something you're going to notice if you just take a really close look is that the enemies their pivot point is actually just in the center of the cube, so when we're spawning them, we end up with a result like that, which is just fine for now because we're going to be replacing those by our own um, little cube models. Or if we don't, then we can just do A plus half of their um, size in the Y, so 0 0.5 in this case, and they end up just on top. So guys, that is going to be pretty much it. Let's just make sure that we do um, change that plane 
but let's just make sure that we do change that plane in the game uh, I mean not in the game as well so this is the floor and it's on 4.5 on all axis all right so guys that's going to be pretty much it for this episode thanks a lot for watching again and uh, thanks a lot for just sticking around I know this is getting a little bit out of end with the amount of episode we have but we're gonna end up having a good result I promise I, I you know it's starting to look good actually just a little bit now that we do have colors so um yeah if you have any current question please leave them in the comment section below other than that please check out the patreon page if you wish to support me other than that please uh subscribe and stuff like that i will see you guys in the next one